uploaded with this account because I've got several accounts. So I've only uploaded on the main account. So this is only a demonstration on how you do it. And I'm using a desktop. To be precise, I'm using a laptop. It is possible to upload using your laptop. But before you come to the laptop, what you have to do is you have to send your pictures into your inbox of your laptop. For example, store them in your pictures, store them in your documents, so that it will be easy to upload. When you then open your account, as it is like now, you see it's my profile over there. Whether you're using a laptop or you're using your smartphone, be it an Apple, iPhone, or a normal Android phone, under your name, under the home page of your account, there's that My Profile. When you click on that My Profile, there should be a pop-up uh, window that appears uh, as we're waiting for that pop-up, yes, here it is. It shows us uh, what we have to do. For example, very important, what you have to know is, it clearly states that it needs a legible identity document with a visible number. If you're using a national registration card in form of a national identity card, your ID number has to be clearly visible. Your picture has to be clearly visible. Everything has to be clear. That's their requirement number one. For number two, I know for number one, it is not a problem for most of the people. But when it comes to number two, wear a self-portrait. Let us look at what their requirements are. It's a legible, safety focus in the document. That means this document which you uploaded here at the top, you also need to put a plain paper at the back, write the month, the day, and the year of which you are taking that selfie, not your date of birth, not the date when that ID document was issued to you by the issuing authority, but the date in which you are taking that selfie. I think I have done a sample uh, close to me here. Um, if I can just try and focus this on you, hopefully it will be visible. Um, unfortunately, I have done it the wrong way, but uh, anyway, um, what I'm trying to show you, from this one, the focus, this is my identity document, which is a passport. This is the date which has been written, which is 14 February 2019. For example, they want the month at the beginning, which is the second month, followed by the date, followed by the year. However, in all this, this identity document has to be legible. That means that they, uh, they have to be able to read what is written in your document. Going further, Looking at uh, this, when you understand this, you click OK, then you are good to go. But before you do anything, there is this edit info there. You are required to edit this information. You put your full name here. You realize that when I created this account, I had only put the name Charles there. But now, it requires a full name as reflected in your identity document. As you can see written in red here at the bottom, in order to complete your validation, you must include your full name 
which you put in this portion here, your full name. For example, if I'm to put my full name there, Charles is my second name. So I'll start with my first name for the benefit of those who don't know, I'll write it as MAA and then put Charles and then put the same name. I'm just doing that as an illustration for you to realize. You realize that I cannot upload in this secondary account because I've already done in the main account. I cannot duplicate in the account. The other issue that has given people problems is the document ID. Document ID, here you write either national registration, driver's license, passport, the form of identification that you are using, you write there. And then coming further down, there that is clear, you select your date of birth. The email does not change because that's the email address which already the system is using and obviously your gender. If you're using a laptop like this, what, the, what you then do is, after having uploaded or after having sent your pictures to your computer, you then come and click under ID document. When you click there, hopefully it will take us to the menu button. As you can see, it is opening the menu button. It is showing the pictures there. If it's under documents, you go to documents. When it's under pictures, you go to pictures. You select, suppose it's an AWS file. You go there, you select that picture, you click open. Automatically, it sends it there. And for the selfie, if you have already taken that selfie, stored it in your phone, took a screenshot to make sure that it's just two megabytes or less, you also send it to your computer, you repeat the same process, you upload there, then you are good to go. That's as simple as all that. The other thing that you need to understand, why the company is doing all this. The company is doing all this so that we avoid money laundering. We avoid racketeering. It is not doing this to frustrate us. It is doing this to protect us, to make sure that we are in the right position. I hope this has been helpful. Let's hope uh, we'll be able to upload our documents going forward. Thank you so much. Let's continue. Let's enjoy mining with AWS Mining. This is the best.